Welcome to my guide on how to AFK the arc laser with the flurry mechanic active. The other four are disabled. And then of course like any other guide of mine, I try to use the lower the better gear so that more people are prone to use this. And for that, I will be using dry gores. I did try ripper clothes, but the kill stuff a lot longer which kind of messed up the rotation of it. And cinder banes are massive. You will also need the brawler blood necklace instead of the amulet of souls because honestly there's no difference and this cost is about 3k per hour to use. Armor spikes they're not really needed but one elder bar should be enough for about three hours of AFK. The Ponifix Shadow Ring, just in case these Lost Grove totem thingies, the boxes, are actually worth it or not. And pretty much your standard perks, although you'll notice I'm rocking Biting 2 instead of Biting 4. And then for my legs, it's just like defensive, the Devoted 3 and Enhanced Devoted 4. For your inventory, you will need pretty much a steel titan which requires 99 summoning or a talon beast pouch which I think is 76 summoning. And lastly you will need to have 98 archaeology. That is for the arc relic, persistent rage which means your adrenaline will not drain outside of combat. And then lastly you will need a lot of magic note paper for whatever reason Sometimes the uncut dragon stones are not noted, which is kind of a pain. And then you'll want the Ancient Elven Ritual Shard, Excalibur, and Weapon Poison. And of course, use anything better you have than what I am using. This is just like the most minimum thing you could get away with. Now, start off with UVM Hub and then get 100% adrenaline, and then go through the portal. From here, on the top left corner, this is where you'll want to untick everything except the very first can. Now, as for the action bar, this is very, very important. That would be Berserk as the first one, Sacrifice, Sever, Decimate, Assault, Dismember, Havoc, Backhand, and Destroy. It helps to also have Protect from Melee because that's the only part we will be using. So, let's begin. Start it, and remember, only have the Flurry, the very first mechanic tip. So, from here, run north, summon your pouch or whatever, drink the weapon poison, and then pray for magic. And it does help to have loot enabled, but I'll show you after this first kill. So you'll notice right away I instantly berserked, and now I'm using my thresholds. Keep in mind that you could use Drygor Maces, because this part right here, right here, you don't actually do attack. You do a weird auto, so the Maces could potentially be better for that one case scenario. And then now that the boss is killed, make sure area loot is enabled and you will want to drop weapon poison. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see to drop the weapon poison in between all three of the spots and make sure to unlock your interface and then just drag it to the corner and then loot all. And then just lock it and you'll be free to AFK. With this method, you will always end up with 85% adrenaline, which is just perfect amount of time for everything to last. And then from this moment, never ever move, and then just hit the space bar to loop everything. And then right now, on screen, I'll post how long it takes to use Kopesh's, which is 39 seconds. And then 
this setup exactly with dry gores, it's 45 seconds. So it's only a six second difference, but keep in mind that I'm like using nothing too powerful. It's just like no ore. I mean, that could be a huge benefit. And then I'm just using a steel titan because the pouch is only about three or four k. You could use a ripper demon or a blood reaver or even the steel titan with scrolls. It's just I do not like to tell people, oh yes, uh, here's some extra added stuff you will need. This is just like stuff you could do with. And actually, with Drygors, with the 45 second average kill speed this is 45 kills per hour with kopeshes it brings it to about 48 or 49 kills per hour so honestly i don't think kopeshes are really worth it too much and that's because like on how long how much it costs to use the augmented stuff and that's why you'll notice that my main hand driver is not actually augmented my offhand has no perk. Well, it does have something for, but it's like useless at this pause. So you could do this with non-augmented weapons. The gear does matter though. I did try with bandos, but you kind of do get smacked from the range with the magic, not so much. And then, as you'll see in my inventory, this is pretty much all of the loot I have gotten from doing this. Method. Just the flurry mechanic enable, nothing else. You can tell that loot is pretty good, although I think they nerfed the amount of elder troves you do get compared to care, uh, care path. And then, strangely enough, doing this method, which is 100% AFK, you could expect to get about 2.5 mil GP per hour because a lot of stuff is very. Alcohol based, so that means that the boss is like minimum that. Now, you could get a little bit lucky and get some more hydro sport tips, which you could expect to get maybe three millish per hour. Which I mean, it's not too bad, but I mean, there's so many other AFK methods you can. Although, this is very easy and relaxed, and you could do it at work or anything else. You even do chores and just like go to the kitchen, make some bacon or whatever type of food you eat. And then this is kind of where you might have to pay attention, but what I like to do is since an overload timer is six minutes, I AFK every three minutes. And then every other time, whoa, manuscript of when? That's my first one ever. Huh. Okay, well that's kind of awkward, I want that to count. Now as I was saying, every 3 minutes you, you could do the Enhanced Excalibur, since you'll notice my health is now halfway. Just make sure I do this every 4-5 minutes and then you will be perfectly fine to AFK the rest of the time. And with that, thank you all so much for watching this method on how to AFK the Arc Laser with only the Flurry and active. Enjoy! rest of your day.